Welcome to the Florist Age Podcast, a place where we help you create a life you're excited about. Welcome to this week's podcast. So today we're going to talk about why decluttering can change your life. Now, hear me out here. I know some of you are like, oh, I have no desire to declutter. Please listen because I promise you this is going to change your life. (laughs) So I've mentioned how there are six types of clutter. And these types of clutter is the messy middle. So you have where you're at, you've got where you want to be, and then you've got all the clutter in the middle. Clutter can look like excuses. It can look like physical clutter, like your environment clutter, body clutter, daily clutter, mind, body, spirit clutter. And when you can finally tackle this, when you can finally look at and say, what is keeping me from having that life that I want? It might surprise you. It could be all the notifications you have on your phone. It could be the mountain of emails that you have. I mean, digital clutter is a real thing. It could be you have so much clutter in your home that you can't do the things that you want to do because you're still just trying to maintain and manage the things that you have to do every single day. I worked with several people recently who have just felt exhausted and trapped by their life. And... One of them is locally here in Scottsdale and she was just like, I just, I don't understand where my life went and what went wrong. You know, I have a life that everybody kind of dreams about. You know, I don't have to work. I have a beautiful home, but I just feel trapped. And I was like, all right, let's dig into this. And through exploring and looking at where she's at and where she wants to be, She was totally out of alignment, totally out of alignment. Where she is feels good, but where she wants to be or where she thought she wanted to be was not accurate. It was something that she got from her grandmother years ago that she's still been holding on to. And she's like, God, no wonder I've been so unhappy. And because of that, she has collected all of this specific type of clutter to try to fit that future version of herself into the mold of where she's at now, and it was creating all this chaos and all this clutter in her life. Part of it was physical clutter, part of it was daily clutter, and part of it was emotional clutter. And so by just getting clear about where she really wants to be, allowed her and gave her the freedom to get rid of that daily clutter that was no longer serving her, to get rid of that physical clutter, recoup some of her money back that she spent on those things, and in doing so, allowed that emotional clutter to free up in her space. And she's like, oh my God, Flora, like I can't even describe how free I feel right now. It's incredible. It's incredible. In podcast episode 26, you've heard Rebecca's story about how clearing the clutter in her home completely changed her life. Like it literally gave her her life back. And the thing is, is Rebecca and I were working together several years before that, clearing other types of clutter before she felt ready to get rid of the physical clutter. So I encourage you to not just look at the physical clutter in your home. Look at that mental clutter, the digital clutter, the daily clutter, that emotional clutter, the spiritual clutter. Like spiritual clutter is also a really, really big thing. Like are you practicing a spiritual practice that feels restrictive, that feels not in alignment with where you are? I mentioned in last week's episode about how I am doing the spiritual retreat. And throughout my years of searching, I kept asking all these questions and all these questions and all these questions. And there was a lot of inconsistencies, but then there was a lot of things that were kind of a through line in each practice that I researched and studied. And if if you're caught up in a doctrine and in a spiritual or religious practice that does not feel in alignment for you, find one that does. Because I'm here to tell you that when you tap into source energy or God, 
your version of God, whatever you choose to call God or the higher power, when you find that spiritual practice that just resonates with you, you feel such a sense of peace. It really feels like you're coming home. Give yourself permission to look at what is holding you back and what that messy middle is. Now, some of you might feel like, well, I know where I'm at and I'm very clear and very sure of where I'm going and I feel pretty good about my life. Awesome. Perfect. But I'm here to tell you and challenge you, there's always an opportunity to be even more clear and to weed out even just the tiniest little things, the tiniest little pieces of clutter. And it's so exciting when you think you can't declutter anymore and all of a sudden you find one thing and you're like, oh, yes, because that's one less thing that you have to manage. Not just physical clutter, but again, that emotional stuff, the mental clutter, the digital clutter, you can always typically pare down just a little bit more. Because remember, everything that you own, everything that you have, everything that's in your space requires you to manage it, whether it's digital clutter, financial clutter, emotional clutter, mental clutter, spiritual clutter, daily clutter, or environmental clutter. Really give yourself permission to say, hmm, what is one thing that I think might still be holding me back? What is one thing that is that is keeping me busy, quote unquote busy instead of productive, that is pulling my energy away from where I really want to give my attention to. What is that? It could be sweeping. Get one of those shark vacuums. Oh my gosh, I love mine. This is not a sponsored ad. Get a shark. They're amazing. (laughs) So I hope that this gives you the opportunity today, this week, to explore the types of clutter that may be holding you back in your life. Okay, I love you. I hope this serves you. If you want deeper explanations about the types of clutter, you can check out my book. The link is in the show notes for the book. You can also check out the One Degree Shift Tribe. I'm in there every single day with my people, coaching them. If you're part of the VIP lounge, you get extra coaching. I truly am here to help you create a life that you're excited about and to get rid of the clutter that is keeping you stuck. And again, it's not just physical clutter, it's financial clutter, it's mental, emotional, spiritual clutter, daily clutter, digital clutter, body clutter. When we can address all of these types of clutter one at a time, you truly start to get your life back and you truly start to have more fun, more confidence, more courage, more clarity, and you're like, oh my gosh. And then people stop you and they're like, dude, what are you doing? Like, can you like teach me your ways? (laughs) And I'm here to tell you, it gets better and better and better. (laughs) All right. I love you guys. Thank you again for tuning into the Flora Sage podcast and the One Degree Chef podcast. I love you. I hope you're having an amazing week so far. And I will speak with you soon. Bye. If you're enjoying this content, which I hope you are, and you're applying this knowledge in your life and are seeing results, I would love to hear about your successes. Click the link in today's show notes, share your success story with me so you can help to inspire others. Also, if you've been loving these episodes, it would mean the world to me if you would rate this podcast on iTunes. A five-star rating is what I always aim for. Thank you for listening to today's podcast episode. All links mentioned are in today's show notes.